This video is what the inner child demanded today, so it's what the inner child's gonna get. Obviously, the first step is to get consent, which the peacock has given us, provided we give them cookies. Anyway, hello everyone. Today is going to be a voiceover episode, and something that's going to be obvious in three, two, one. Yeah, you don't want to have to compete with that. <laughs> anyway, first you want to make sure the water is nice and hot when you're washing your peacock, because uh, it's winter time. No one's going to go into a cold shower when it's winter. And we're going to get it nice and soaking wet. Which fortunately the peacock was uh, crocheted with machine washable yarn. So it should be able to withstand. And we have it in the shower instead of the bath so the peacock does not fly away. Although, and quite honestly, this peacock uh, cannot lift his head up without help. So I don't think we have to worry about that. Anyway, we start with the shampoo. We are using the shampoo that I've had for over a year because I bought the shampoo before I dyed my hair and I was midway using it. And then when I dyed my hair, uh, it turns out you can't use shampoo that has sulfur in it. And uh, that shampoo did. So uh, we, we're not using it anymore for that, but it's okay for the peacock. And for the peacock, we're going to have the tail feathers and the head feathers. That's pretty much peacock hair kind of hard to see but I think at this point I think I cover the eyes so that way the peacock doesn't get soap in the eyes so you know that's a pain but uh unfortunately the peacock got soap in his eyes it was inevitable <laughs> at this point and yeah that that mist is how you know the water's hot don't worry you'll, you'll get a chance to see it I think I just adjusted the water there so it's a bit cooler you start with the water off really hot and then you cool it down once you've gotten used to the hot water. It's really soaked now. And here we have a Simba moment where I bring it closer to the shower head to get as much of the shampoo out as possible. And we, I think we're about to have the wipe down so we can get a clearer view. Anyway, that's, you get to see one of the things I love most about the shower that I'm using here, which is the fact that I can actually just turn off the water when I'm doing things like applying conditioner as I am now and give it a chance to like really soak in and lather uh, before the water washes it all out and hopefully like saves product and saves water too. I feel better about the environment this way. Although I am applying the conditioner before all the shampoo washes out, which isn't the best case for the peacock, but the peacock doesn't mind. The peacock is just happy to be in the shower and be away from its buddies, get some special time, you know. You turn the water back on again. At this point, I let it use my brush, or I'm close to letting it use my brush, despite the fact that sharing hair brushes leads to lice, but uh, lice can travel between human or peacocks. I don't know if that's a fact or not, but we're going to roll with it here. Anyway, the peacock's getting really, really heavy by now. All the water. Yep, there's the brush. <laughs> peacock likes it. It's kind of like when you've got a cat or a dog and you brush their hair and just takes off all the extra fur, you know? Now that the peacock has any extra fur. And honestly, if this was a non-crocheted peacock, I might tear out a few feathers and he wouldn't like that very much. But as a crocheted peacock, his feathers are in pretty securely. And now we're going to apply the soap, which is in a handy pump towards the bottom of the thing. I'm going to take care of anything that's not feathers at this point. We're also going to make sure to get the beak, making sure the peacock's beak is uh, cleaned is kind of like the human game behind the ears. And we're going to wash it all over again. Peacock's kind of over it by now. That's okay, we're almost done. 
can probably hear the water dripping. That's because I'm wearing a fleece onesie, and fleece onesies also hold a lot of water. We're just squeezing out any last water so it's not just dripping all over the tile floor. I really can't stand wet tile when I come out of a shower. I don't know why. <laughs> I'll try to get as much excess water in the shower as possible. It's probably just a nuisance to clean, honestly. And then you get to just reach out for the towel on the drying rack. We have two different towels. We have a towel for the head and we have a towel for the body. And here you're gonna see me struggle to put the towel on for the head, in which I think I have it inside out. But in reality, I had it right the first time. I can be forgiven for this though. Mom made that one recently. It was like only the second time I'd ever used that particular towel. <laughs> In this way, you don't have to like keep your head upside down whenever you're drying off. You can have a towel for your head and then you can use the towel to clean up the rest of it because the hair is the thing that holds the most water. That part's pretty obvious. And now that it's swaddled up like a baby, we're going to drain the floor, which you can see I'm a disgusting human being who doesn't clean her drains properly. We get to make sure all the water goes down so I don't track it out. <laughs> and there we have it. That was today's entertainment. Have a nice day.